what is going on guys this is Danny from my flying eyes and today we're heading towards Joshua tree at uh, 29 pounds and we're going to try to catch the last night of the Milky Way um, on this week it's going to be visible and try to catch the Milky Way from Joshua Tree for the first time in my case I don't know if I'm gonna try the Arch Rock trial because today is Saturday so it's going to be Saturday night Milky Way fever and that spot is probably going to be pretty crowded and I hate crowds uh, there is another spot it's pretty popular which is it's called Rock that is by the paved road you don't have to do any trails so I probably try that one or I would just go somewhere not any particular spot so no matter how crowded it would be I decided to go to the Arch Rock so in order to find it you have to enter Arch Rock Nature Trail 29 Palms California on maps and it's going to take you right to the parking lot um, so then you're gonna park your car and you're gonna start a trail that it lasts for about 25 minutes so you're gonna start at the parking lot then you have to cross the paved road and follow the trial you're gonna find it we are about to enter the park Joshua tree as you can see and we're gonna go to the arch rock trail and try to do some exploration before the, the Sun goes down and we go from there we probably stay there it's gonna be a lot of hours make it way it's going to be visible around 11 at least 11 or we're gonna go back to the car and wait there well, I don't know okay we are now inside the park I was expecting to show to proudly show my annual pass but no one was at the entrance so I didn't have the chance to show it so apparently after six probably it's free to enter the park um, so we're driving Okay, I just stopped. Um, I'm still on my way to the trail, but I want to show you guys this. This is gorgeous. I don't know if the GoPro is honoring that. Okay, I just arrived at the parking. It's pretty crowded, so I don't know if we're gonna stay taking pictures if it's too crowded I might go somewhere else I don't like crowds and I do like doing light painting and I hate to you know to ruin other people's nights so so let's see but at least I'm going to to go and see the arch rock hopefully before the sun goes down which is it already down but we still have a little bit of light so apparently it's about between 20 30 minutes walk and they say it's a, a little bit tricky so hopefully I found it I want to just come back um, and if I found it I would stay there of course until the Milky Way shows up so let's see how it goes. Okay, so Arch Rock, here we go. <laughs> 
they say that it's not crowded, so we might be able to do some light painting. Who knows? Why not? I'm walking. Right now, it's about to get dark. The, the trail is um, it's pretty nice. They say that it gets tricky when it gets to the rocks and you have to wander around the rocks a little bit and then you'll find it. So, okay guys, I just found it. It is not hard at all. It's just a 15 minute walk from the parking lot and it is over there. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it from the GoPro, but we're gonna get a better position. So, here it is, the arch. You can see it there. So we're gonna walk around and see where's the best position to position ourselves. Whoops, oops. <laughs> My light is attracting some friends. So, it looks pretty tough to climb here. So probably it's from the other side. Well, no, because the Mickey Way is gonna be on that side. So let's see. So people were coming and going all night long and it was very nice to chat with those guys and I ended up staying for six hours until almost everyone left because I wanted to do a little bit of light painting and I didn't want to get lynched.
what is going on guys uh, you're just seeing what's left of Danny from my flying eyes this is the aftermath of the night photography at Arch Rock um, I ended up spending I don't know how many hours it's probably from 8 p.m. till 2 a.m. The place was, um, when I arrived, I was the second uh, one arriving there and I was almost the last one. It was just one guy left um, when, I, when, I, when I left the place and I am so tired because I have to spend so many hours and, you know, figuring out the position between in between the rocks it's it is not a place where you can be comfortable so it is wise to bring a chair even though you're gonna have to climb some rocks and the place it was like a Saturday night Milky Way fever <laughs> so this is a famous place it was packed so if you want to get a good spot go there early i didn't have any experience on the place so i didn't know which spot was the best so but then the the lady that came before me we we arrived almost at the same time she uses a spot it was the best in my opinion um so but she was doing star trails and she told me she was going to leave around 11.30. So that was right when the Milky Way uh, was going to start rising above the Arch Rock. So, um, so then I just wait for her to finish and then I took her spot. So photographers were coming all the time for people that don't like uh, like pollution that's a problem because you know when they come there is no way to to walk around the rocks unless you have at least a head a, you know that 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 light in, in your uh, forehead um, and at least like the the red light so that was a problem and it was kind of like polluting pretty often the, the rock and of course, you know, I, uh, I, I, at some point, I suggest, uh, oh, would you, uh, would you let me do some light painting like I used to do? And I was almost lynched by the other guys. No, I'm kidding. But everybody was really nice, and it was really fun to be around all those guys and talking and sharing uh, information you know tales and stuff like that but it was like almost let's say probably almost 20 people and everybody was trying to find a way in between the ro rocks and placing their tripods and you know, it, the, the place was really crowded and then I, I noticed when I watch my pictures that and some some of the pictures the late the latest ones I changed my composition a little bit and then one camera was getting into the picture so I'm a little bit of one camera so I'm gonna have to erase that with content that were later on and it was a good reminder why I don't use to photograph crowded uh, I mean famous landscapes landmarks especially on a weekend um, but it was a good experience. If I would, I, I don't think I'm gonna ever come uh, at that spot again because you know I also I don't like to photograph to do the same photograph that I seen like a thousand times already. I don't see a point in that. At the end of the night, where um, almost everybody was gone, I did some light painting on the rock. There was just a, a few Chinese guys that they, they didn't seem to care. Um, but at some point, you know, my I moved the tripod a little bit so 
hopefully I put it back in place without altering the composition but I don't know let's see how it comes it was a good experience though and at some point I I went to set up my other camera my Lumix GH5 and it I did a I did a um, time-lapse from another spot and I think I think that that came up pretty good you can see all the <laughs> all the photographers coming on the time-lapse but I, I find it fun to do time-lapse lapses like that where sometimes I do the time-lapse and I capture myself doing the light painting and everything and to me that looks very I, I, that looks interesting it does not ruin my the time lapse at all. So so um, I'm not returning to the place. I was probably I was like okay maybe I return during daylight and I, and I capture a little bit of the place. But I, I'm not going doing that because I'm so tired. I was spending eight hours in, on a comfortable position, climbing in between the rocks, trying to find you know my. my you picture your feet my feet were standing on a rock that it was inclined so it were in an uncomfortable position all the time so I'm so tired I need to get back home I don't going to stop anywhere and do any drone shooting nothing I'm going straight to my bed okay guys I hope um, you enjoyed this video and what I'm sharing with you guys is it's useful just in case you want to uh, photograph the arch rock at Joshua Tree and so I see you on the next one let's see how the pictures come out because I haven't seen it okay see you guys thank you for watching